going to love this. The sweet recipes you can make at home just in time for Valentine's Day. Right, thanks. Listen, are you looking for something a little different, something fun to do for Valentine's Day? Why not have a Valentine's Day party and bring fondue into fondue. the mix, right? I like it. Yes. Uh, Marianne Rems is joining us this morning to talk about how Hi. you can do a party, just a couple's party, or you can do a party just for yourself, and right? Today is National Chocolate Fondue Day, mm. and I've brought deep and rich dark chocolate fondue okay. and milk chocolate hazelnut. You can do these little intimate settings, but let me quickly tell you, okay. make it with baking chocolate or the morsels, but the key is it has to be really good quality chocolate, so don't skimp. You you have to have one of these, right? I never have any luck when I try and melt chocolate. Well, you, it here's turns the into deal. a brick. You need like a double boiler setup. Okay. These okay. are pretty elaborate, but you can do that at home as well. Get one of your little uh, dishes here, put a little hot water, okay. lay your chocolate, and it's kind of like a mock double boiler. It keeps the chocolate nice and warm. You can dip. You can have the recipes. Double the recipes. It really just depends. Just a, for Valentine's Day, if you want to do something super special, here's some chocolates. My mom, it beautiful. was their 55th wedding anniversary, which happens to be Valentine's Day. Aww. So, of course, she saved everything since I was six, so I knew she'd have this, so I went and picked it up. But make everything personal. Do a little menu. We've got cakes. We've got biscotti. And you must try these, okay? <gasps> Those raspberries are to die. These are cannoli cream cheese. Really, really. Look at that. I'm serious. What is, what is, How did you what do that? This? Cannoli cream cheese. Here, wait. Okay. okay. Stab oh, it. Oh, yes, got you. You have not lived until you put this I'm trying in a chocolate fondue. Okay, oh, okay so then you, you dip I'm gonna this. I'm going to try the dark dip. John's going to try yep. the milk you chocolate dip. hazelnut, right? I'm okay. telling Now, watch your tie. And don't okay. yell at me for the dry cleaning bill. I'm saying no matter how bad your day is, if you put one of these in your mouth, <laughs> oh, I know, you do the happy dance. Is that insane? I am going to mess incredibly up my insane. Okay. See, All I got too much chocolate on mine. Wait, wait, you can wait. never have too that much chocolate. So you good. know what? Let me show you really quickly. Okay. Napkin. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Now I really yeah, got it. You know. I'm so Look, sorry. John's going to need one of these napkins, Marianne. How about a napkin? Thank goodness we have that. Look, I'm a, You've got my I'm a mess had back had here. I'm so sorry, John. John, John. I'm so sorry. That means I get a take two. I yeah, know, go you ahead. do. A double dipper. But check out this Martha Stewart trick that Marianne showed us with this napkin box. This is incredible. My husband had these in the garage and I'm like these are great they're soft they're huge but they're ugly so I wrap them like a little gift put a little velcro detachable you can wrap them for any occasion checkerboard for Cute. a picnic any party any party great just pull them right out super super I love cool it. I love those that. are good napkins great oh idea. no don't worry about me I'm so sorry. <laughs> Maybe I need that. <laughs> no, what that's really awesome. Hey, what are some of your other favorites oh, here? Oh, biscotti. Beautiful okay. biscotti. I like biscotti. Berries. What I did was just get box cakes with a little extracts in like them. Like a little pound orange, cake or a okay. pound cake. You know what's nice with the chocolates, too? You don't always have to use just a general chocolate. You can put peppermint. Do you like those Girl Scout cookies, the, the thin oh, mints? The thin <gasps> put a little peppermint. Oh, oh, my. oh, oh, oh. Watch out, Girl Scouts. I'm a coming. What are, what are, are these things crap? up here? Oh, I'm you know curious what about are? this. Okay. These are the puff pastry sheets. I don't know if you've seen them. With cookie cutters, I just punched out the, the shapes. And I just wanted to show you that sparkling sugar, red, a blue, and then that I basted butter and cinnamon to get a deeper, rich tone. But you need to baste it with butter. Let's face it, this is not going to be the lowest calorie thing. But I'm telling you, puff pastry dipped in chocolate. Oh, Gosh, did you ever try the potato chips dipped in chocolate? Is that good Insane. too? Okay, Insane. I'll try that. And no right, double dipping. We'll I love that. your little sign. No oh, double dipping. Uh, okay, so I got to put that down. <laughs> cinnamon okay, twist. hey, what's what your website for? again? You got tons of ideas. Marianne Rem's Facebook. I have all the recipes up for you, plus more. The triple berry sauce with the white chocolate. Cake and chocolate. Oh, I'm is telling you. Is there anything you, you can dip in chocolate? I don't um, think pretty so. much no. My favorite is, is potato chips, believe oh. it or not. I love potato chips. That is so that good, is right? Amazing. Isn't that good? I know. Oh I never would have thought of that. I, I love this woman. I'm so sorry. Just, here we go. Yeah, I'm okay. Day. Okay. You keep it right here. See, we're going to toss it into chocolate. Jamie King. He's going to do some weather. We're going to have a happy Valentine's Day. We're going to eat.